Hi there! After my last video, I decided to make a tutorial on French seams and I got three different fabrics. So this one, um, they're all pretty easy to see what is the right side and the wrong side. This will be important. And uh, for this one, I made a marking of one centimeter seam allowance and i drew with pencil please never use pencil or pen on fabric it's really easy uh really hard to remove but if i used this one this one is just a test and if i had used this one this one um fades away when um, i press it or i steam so um i wanted to keep it for tutorial purposes so with the front seam instead of sewing from the wrong sides and then pressing it open and the seam is like this behind and here you do the opposite you join the wrong side with the wrong side and stitch from the right side of the fabric and um I think most people like to do with 0.5 centimeter. That's about the width of this side of the, the presser foot. So let's start with that. Then go and trim the seam allowance a little bit, but I think like to press my seams open and um, I think if you trim too much it makes kind of hard to do that and also like trimming if you have like a really long dress for example trimming takes a long time and if it's um, depending on the fabric uh, if it starts to get too slippery you have the risk of maybe like missing your hand with the scissors and cutting somewhere you should not be be cutting uh so i prefer to do a very skinny seam so i think you can see that so this one i kind of stitched in the middle of the white stripe and this one outside it's a little bit hard to press open but you just have to be careful and this is after I finish stitching and press it again so you can see this one is the one that I made with a, the very narrow stitch first and I stitch right on top of the one centimeter marking and the results that I have a 0.5 seam and it looks clean on the outside well on the right side sorry and this one was the one that I made about like that I stitch 0.5 first and then if I stitch on the one centimeter marking that I made it has this kind of fuss on the outside so if you like um, stitching 0.5 and then trimming that's fine otherwise if you know your skill level is not there quite there um, you can just make on your pattern a slightly wider seam allowance and make a, a front seam of about 0 0.7 0 0.6 what is it yeah almost yeah what point six ish that's not too bad 
I've seen fret seams done on thicker fabric. I've seen it, for example, on a, I think it was an acne uh, jersey top. So naturally, since the fabric's thicker, you would do a thicker seam. So here I did about 0.7. And also, if you do, like for example, a 0.5 or smaller, and the fabric is too thick, it's going to be too hard to press. And then once you stitch it, this one, you can see like, because the fabric is too thick, I wouldn't sew it too close to the edge here. So I made it a, yeah, a one centimeter, even a little bit bigger than that. And and this is what it would look like on the wrong side. And this from the right side, so. Yeah, if it's, for example, a tiny tight top and you have seams this fat, it would probably not be the right choice. It's just easy to just go and overlock. And uh, if you're using some uh, very delicate fabric, such as... Um, I didn't have a, a, a see-through fabric, but I had this silk satin crepe. So the official way to to sew it, as I learned in Bumka, was to use some paper and a very small stitch size. Then, oh, I hate this part. I mean, go and try to rip the paper as close as possible to the thread because then you just have to go and do like this and i already see that the seam the edge is becoming very fuzzy so this one is i'll probably trim i think it's worth it Try to trim it evenly. Mm, I don't like to steam silk, so yeah, just be careful with it. when this happens. the boo-boo happening here. Actually, I think that little fuss that I cut kind of pulled some threads here. I think you can see that the fabric's a little bit weird. Um, so yeah, be very, 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 very careful when sewing silk satin. It's not a bad width for this fabric like this one is it's not like super thin but for example if you were using chiffon or silk muslin i would recommend making something even smaller than this this is still a let's see a 
Yeah, it's just a 0.5, and I think a good size would be about a 0.3 or a 0.4. But uh, again, check what your skill level is. And when in doubt, just make these little sewing samples before you start sewing your actual garments. Hope you liked it. Bye.